Good morning. Welcome back. I'm just updating my phone right now and then I'm gonna put on some music. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to make potato salad. So to do that, I need to uh, make some vegan mayo. And yeah, I'm hoping to do some sort of stuff for tacos like refried beans and I don't know, some like tofu or something. It's really nice outside today, so the animals are all <laughs> staring out the door. Um, so if there's any kind of barking or whining, it's because <laughs> of that. All right, so I'm gonna start with potatoes. Or actually, I'm gonna start with, yeah, I'll start with potatoes, get them boiling, and then I'll make the mayo. That would make the most sense. Um, I might as well use my giant cutting board. Hi, Frank. How are you today? <laughs> Ruby's just staring at me. Okay, see if I can get this. So I just updated. I have an old phone that I was gonna give back and get money for it, and then I completely forgot. But I've decided I can still use it. Other things. Oh, no, focus mode. Um, so I was just going to play music off of here. I think that might work. How do I turn off focus mode? Where is it? On here. Everything's slightly different. Where's my focus mode? Oh, it's still updating. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Never mind. I'll wait. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. I am doing really well. The weather is so nice and... Like it rained for most of the weekend, but then it got nice on Sunday and it was pretty nice yesterday, clouded over, but it was quite nice. I got to go to take my dogs to the dog park and today's even nicer. So it's beautiful. Like it's super sunny. It's warm. Finally have the windows open. It's really nice. And then I'm hoping to go for a bike ride later. I went for a little one yesterday. Um, but yeah, it was kind of chilly because I went in the evening. Oh, I'm glad the weather's good for you too because it makes such a big difference. It's just like, I don't know, feels like summer. I think it's like 20, I don't know what it is right now, but it's supposed to go up to 22. It just feels nice to be able to go outside without putting on like sweaters and stuff. I brushed out my dogs yesterday. <laughs> oh my god, there was so much fart. But yeah, it should help. Help not be as furry inside. Hope I get a bike ride in today. Yeah, me too. I So I've got for two bike rides so far. Uh, I went on a really short one with Ruby. And she did well. Like, I just went kind of around the block to see how she was tied to me while on the bike. And then yesterday when I was trying to go for my bike ride, she kept chasing me. Like, she really, really wanted to go. But I didn't want to take her because she was... I'd already been to the dog park and I didn't want her to like overexert herself. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to take her because I think she'll really enjoy it. Yeah, I hope you can get out. Do you have a bike that you can use or do you have to get one? Because that's the hardest thing is when you don't have one. I'm just going to grab my potatoes. What did you do for your weekend? Was it a long weekend in the States? It was here, which is cool because I get tomorrow off too, which is really nice. But then it also means I have to cover someone's shift on Wednesday, so... Or not Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> Feels like Monday today. Um, how much potato salad do I want to make? I need to get one. Yeah, I... Man, I had... I didn't have a bike for a while because I was living downtown and didn't really need one. And then I got I got a nice one finally. T rode it to work I, and it was like raining one day and I left it like in the work shed and someone broke into the shed and stole my bike. Which here is pretty famous for people having their bikes stolen. 
Um, so it was really disappointing. But my boss was so nice. She bought me a new one. Like the same one. So I still have that one. And I love I love the bike. It just needs a little bit of a tune-up at some point. Hello, Hyper Fishing. How are you? Sorry, I just missed you said break. Oh, it was a long weekend. Oh, okay. No complaints? Well, that's good. At least, yeah, our, it was really busy on Saturday at my work. I thought everyone was going to be out at the cottage because it's kind of like cottage season. Or usually this long weekend, May long, is when everyone kind of goes to the cottage around here. Um, but, I mean, it was raining Friday, Saturday. Oh, I think it rained on Saturday. It even snowed one of those days. I don't know which day. Um, but, yeah, it... I don't know, it was crazy busy. I, it was a lot busier than I expected. Which meant... I didn't get as much done. But, we hired the new dishwasher girl. Um, we gave her, like, two trial shifts, and then we... Oh, I might have said on Friday. I can't remember. But yeah, we ended up hiring her. And it made such a big difference, especially on Saturday. Like, if we hadn't had a dishwasher on Saturday, it would have been horrendous. Like, it would have been there forever. You bought a boat this year. Oh, well, hopefully it warms up for you soon. What type of boat is it? I've never... <laughs> I was going to say, I've never driven a boat, which I haven't, because we don't really have any huge amounts of water around here. <laughs> um, I've been on a canoe. <laughs> We've canoed plenty. Uh, bass, or <laughs> bass, bass fishing boat. Okay. I don't know how big of a boat that is. Is that like a motorized, I assume? <laughs> Not a paddle boat? I have no idea. I don't know my boats. Water is not my specialty. But that's cool that you got one. Michigan. Oh yeah, you got lots of water there. Uh, what size pot do I want? I want a bigger pot. So I'm just gonna cut these up a little bit so that it's uh... So they cook a little bit. Eighteen foot. <laughs> Trying to mentally damage that. That sounds decent. It's not huge, but it sounds good. I hope you get a lot of use out of it. I should put water in here. One second. So yeah, I'm gonna just cook off these potatoes. <laughs> That's okay if you don't know meters. Some things. I don't know, I still do height in feet and inches, so... Canada, we use both. It's kind of annoying, but... It works. Like, long distances, I think, in, like, meters or kilometers, but... Small amounts, like, height is still always... Feet and inches? I don't know why. I think because we learnt in Imperial up until like probably when I was in like grade five or grade six, we kind of really switched over to metric. So some things haven't really switched in my brain. <laughs> Didn't really learn the metric system. I know. It's it is really weird. The US refuses to change. <laughs> And it doesn't really, a lot of it doesn't make sense, at least like metric, or yeah, metric, you can uh, scale things a lot more easily. Like when people talk about things in yards, I'm like I have no idea what the hell, because it's some odd, weird number of feet. It's not like <laughs> even a round number. But I do know a lot of like weight and stuff in Imperial, just because at work we, Use a mixture of both. Like when baking, I tend to use a lot more metric, but when I'm buying, like purchasing vegetables, it's still mostly in like pounds and out ounces. So some recipes are in that. Some things are in like, uh, God, 
even like the thing that annoys me is those like number 10 cans which are the big cans are in like fluid ounces which is the most annoying unit of measurement ever for solid objects like artichokes but this many fluid ounces it's like oh, what is the weight of that i don't know it's different for everything oh i just splashed water everywhere i am in canada so yeah we're kind of We've got a mix of U.S. influence and British influence, so we've got a little bit of both. And yes, I work in a restaurant, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of food stuff that is still in Imperial for whatever reason. Like most things come in like 50 pounds, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Some things just like haven't changed with them, because I'm sure a lot of the vegetables come from the U.S. too, most of them. <laughs> so we can't really grow things year around here most of the time. You can take your boat to Windsor. Oh, really? You're that close? Yeah, I guess uh, Michigan's really close too. Canada. I've never... Yeah, certain parts of it, I guess. Um, I've never... I don't think I've ever been through Michigan. I don't know if I've even been to Windsor, Ontario. I might have stopped through there while like road tripping as a kid. I don't remember it. I've been to Madagon. I don't know. I've like gone from Canada down to like Rochester, New York, and we've gone through the U.S. or through Canada. So we've kind of gone both ways. I don't really remember. So I was pretty young. Okay, Detroit. That's like right close then. I'm just gonna throw this pot on the stove. And my dog wants in, so I'm just gonna let her in one sec. Animals everywhere. Yeah, I've definitely never been to Detroit. Don't know that much about it, honestly. Um, oh, you love hockey? Well, that's perfect then. You're really close to that whole area, especially if you take a boat. <laughs> Toronto's decent. I don't know. I found it like a nice city to walk around, but not a place I'd want to live. It's got a lot of good food, but uh, it's nice to visit. Just not, I just, not a huge, big city person, I guess. Everyone was really rude. <laughs> Which didn't seem very Canadian. Like you go on the bus and everyone sits on the outside seat so no one could sit next to them. And this was well before COVID times. It was pretty weird. I've never seen that before, because that doesn't happen here. <laughs> so I'm going to try to turn on my music now, Let's see if this works. Now that I updated my phone, I just updated. Now it's asking me to install a new update. I mean, what is happening? I don't know. I don't know. One sec. We have a friend that moved to Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver was really nice. I could definitely see that. <laughs> I, my brother went to school out there, well, one of my brothers went to school out there and uh, got a road trip, like, with my parents, driving him to university out there, and uh, it's just a really nice city. Um, still really big, but I guess there's a lot of suburb areas. One of my friends lives out there now. It just sounds crazy expensive compared to here, which I don't know if I could handle. <laughs> um, I'm just going to turn off my sound, and... What am I looking for? YouTube? Where's YouTube on here? My old phone, I don't remember <laughs> how everything's categorized. Uh, copyright free music. Let's see what we got. Need something, um, background, I guess. Something not techno y, please. <laughs> Synth. 
there's volume on this one. Well, the buttons are different. Okay. Um, the outdoor lever. Oh yeah, that's perfect then. You can go outside like all year round there. Which would be really nice. They have a lot of nice parks. I wonder if I can cast this to my um, Google speaker. I guess I can't with YouTube, but I don't know. I, yeah, I would like to live, I say I kind of like to live more coastally just because, yeah, you get to, the winters aren't so harsh, but at the same time, the rain, <laughs> I don't know if I could deal with it. Okay, what am I doing? I'm getting really distracted. Um, mayo. Let's go make vegan mayo. I just need that. Food processor. Go visit her in Vancouver so you can experience it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of rain. I don't know if I could. It'd be like nice and green, which would be nice, but I don't know if I could handle the the weather. I don't know. After living like where I live, it's super sunny pretty much all the time, even in winter. We had like a week of rain. Was it this past week? And it was so depressing. Everyone, everyone I know was like, man, this weather's depressing. I can't wait till it's sunny again. And that's like normal for other places, so I don't know. Checking out my dog once. Just gonna make sure she's not digging holes in the yard. You don't think you could sit on a plane that long? How long is the flight? Four hours, or I guess you're more east. I think it's like a three or three and a half hour flight from here. Okay. Just road trip it. <laughs> it would take forever. Five to six, okay. Yeah, because I think it's like two and a half from here to Toronto ish, or to Ottawa. I think they're around the same. Okay. Uh, Mayo, mayo, mayo. I should probably make sure I have the ingredients first before I start. I'm just going to see if I have more Dijon. Super, super easy recipe. Even easier than making real mayo. And it tastes good. Where did my thing go? Here. Um, so basically, for vegan mayo, we just use soy milk, Dijon mustard, salt, and oil. I just use canola, just a, any sort of basic oil. like a really tiny food processor, so just make a small batch and I'm sure that'll last. It also like lasts forever, because uh, the oil, not forever, but it lasts a long time. I've had it last like a month at least, even though it has like fresh soy milk in it, which is good. See, this, even this thing's right-handed angle. <laughs> it's the scoopy parts on the wrong side. Don't like it. All right, team. Two to three hours to get to Florida, really? It's, it seems like it'd be longer. But I guess it's just straight south. It is hard to sit on a plane for that long. I've never taken like a super long flight. I think the longest. Probably from like Toronto to St. John's, like Newfoundland. I think that's where I flew from. 
Or was it Tenobis Boba? I don't know. I went to Newfoundland, but I can't remember if we had to stop in um, Nova Scotia first, or if it was the other way around. Um, yeah, that was probably like, I think three and a half hours or something was the longest. That was plenty. It's hard to sit still. And it's hard to sleep. <laughs> You'd rather drive. Yeah, exactly. I would too. I'd like to road trip because then I can take my dog. I'm just gonna bring her inside before she starts barking at people. and all the dogs are up here right now, which is kind of weird. It's because the window's open. They have to sit there and watch. Um, yeah, and this is, don't even have the birds in here right now. <laughs> okay, so I do a third of a cup of Dijon. I make this all the time, so remember this recipe. I haven't made it in a while, but I make it at work, obviously. And then a cup of soy milk. Better to have the unsweetened than sweetened. If it's sweetened, then you need more salt. Speaking of salt, I should grab it. Um, so I just have unsweetened basic soy milk. It's kind of weird if you use like a vanilla soy milk, so I would not suggest that. And it doesn't work very well with anything other than soy, just because soy has enough protein in it. It might work with like a pea milk or something, but I know it works with soy. Because it, yeah, it needs that protein to uh, emulsify properly. Okay. I have more soy milk. recipe calls for a teaspoon, but um, I think because I'm using unsweetened, I don't need that much. Because that's with like the sweetened soy milk. So I'm just going to do like half a teaspoon and then I can add more if I need to. I haven't made it with unsweetened in a while, so it's about enough. And then like three to four cups of oil. We'll just mix it in there. Good. 
I don't know. It, the more oil you add, the thicker it'll be. So it kind of depends how thick you want the mayo to be. So I'm just going to run it and add this in, and it'll drip through slowly. Here, it's just this thing's <laughs> very slow at curing. Um, so right now it's like a, I don't know, not super thick, which I kind of like a bit better. It's easier to use, spread, whatever. I'm just gonna finish mixing. Plus this thing probably can't really fit another tiny little food processor. It's the perfect size though for one person. Just gonna try to get the oil off the edges. missed what you said. Uh -huh. Oh, Newfoundland, you thought was in the Northwest Territories. I've never been to any of the territories, honestly. Mm. It's really good. So you have half a teaspoon of, um, what should we call it? Salt. Yeah, Newfoundland's its own thing. It's really nice, um, really nice area. Like, I only went to St. John's Really nice city. I would definitely go there again. I'd love to go to like Cape Breton Island. It's supposed to be really beautiful as well. <laughs> it was frosting, yeah. That's fair. I know a lot of people who don't like mayonnaise, but I'm gonna make potato salad, so that's what I wanted it for. And I think I might make some Caesar dressing with it too. There's a city called St. John's. Yes. Yes, there is. That's the capital. 
And it's such a cute, like, old looking city with the, uh, like, little, all the houses are these bright little colors. And it's just, it's just very different from here. I think partially because it's on the coast. Whereas, like, I mean, Halifax is also on the coast, and it felt a lot like here for whatever reason. I don't know. Just similar size and attitude. My potatoes are almost boiling. So what else was I going to make today? Where's my thingy? Oh, refried beans. Yes. Okay. Then I will start cutting up onions for that. So I always use a ton of onions. And I think I'm just going to use canned beans. Let me see what I have before, uh, before I do anything. a show about St. John's? Nice. Was it just like a documentary thing about it? Um, what do I have? My container is ever in here. It's probably what, if I use three cups plus a cup, it's just over a liter. Just use a little camera. Plain eater, nothing fancy. Yeah, I like very simple foods, easy foods. I don't really like. I mean, it's nice to have fancy food once in a while, but I don't like making fancy food. <laughs> it's worth paying for. Depending on what it is. Uh, it was all about the city, what to do, what to see. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I went there. How old was I? I think I was in junior high, so it's probably like 12 or 13 or something. Yeah, I must have been somewhere in there. And so I don't know, I'm sure it's changed since then. <laughs> it was a while ago. Um, but yeah, it was really nice when I went. Got to see uh, whales and stuff. I went with my aunt and she, uh, took me sightseeing. She had to go there for work, but I got to tag along. And she always, you know, eats at the nice places and <laughs> stays at nice hotels. So it was, it was nice to go to. And we went to PEI, um, for a couple days, I think. Got to see, like, Anna Green Gables house and just she literally paid for a cab to take us all around PEI one day. I can't imagine how expensive that must have been. Spent like hours driving. It was cool though. I was got to see like the bridge, whatever that bridge is called that goes to Nova Scotia. Um yeah, it was it was a really fun trip. And I think we stopped in Nova Scotia for like a day because we had to fly out from there or something. Or we had to go there. I think we flew from Newfoundland to Nova Scotia, like to Halifax, and then had to take a f little flight from there to PEI. So got to see a bit of the East Coast, which was nice. It's on your bucket list? Nice. 
Restaurant called Mallard Cottage. Ooh. The only problem is I don't like seafood. <laughs> so it was as a kid, a picky eater and doesn't like seafood, going to a place where everything is pretty much seafood was kind of uh, not ideal, I guess. <laughs> and now I don't eat any seafood at all. So there's that kind of part that I missed out on. But whatever. It was still really fun. Mm. Baby, don't bark at things. Okay, I'm just gonna shove the mail in the fridge for a bit. And... Is there any new onions? Restaurants in Halifax, too. So I think I'm just gonna like rough chop some onions. Actually, two is probably plenty. I'm just gonna do one can of beans. Like basic seafood shrimp, white fish, crab legs. Okay. I never ate any seafood growing up, so I never liked it. Very picky. Which is too bad, because I'm sure if I ate, if I wasn't vegan now, I'm sure I would uh, eat a lot of, more of it, because it's very, for the most part, pretty healthy. Lean meats or whatever. Just, yeah, I don't know, growing up, just never had it, because my mom didn't like it, so my dad would never make it at home. <laughs> we would go to Red Lobster all the time with my grandma, though. Oh, I just got like mold on it. Gross. And go to Red Lobster and me and my brothers would always order chicken. Until my brothers got older, I guess. I think, uh, I don't know, it's probably partly because I don't live anywhere near water, so our seafood here isn't very fresh anyway. There's like a couple lakes. And I went fishing as a kid, but it was mostly like catfish. I think there's some like pickerel out here. Um, but there isn't too much. Not a lot of variety. Old people have red lobster right now. The only thing I really liked was the biscuits. <laughs> Which uh but yeah, I hate it going there. She like red lobster and Perkins. <laughs> Not what a bunch of kids wanted to eat. And now I just think about those places like I, it'd be hard to work in a place like this. Where you just have so many people. It's just kind of really boring food. I don't know. I don't like big chain restaurants. Very biased against them, I think. The music stopped. Why do you stop? Those beers. Cheddar Bay biscuits are the best thing. <laughs> I know. I actually have a vegan recipe for the Cheddar Bay biscuits, and I make them every holiday because my family loves them. And they're so good. They're so unhealthy, though. It's like so much grease in there. Oil. Tasty. Hey, how's the cane? I am. Okay, so I just made mayo. I have potatoes on to make potato salad. And I'm just gonna make some refried beans. I think this will be plenty. I'm gonna make some stuff for tacos. I think refried beans and some sort of tofu y, scramble -y thing. Let me just see what I have. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any like ground brown stuff, so I think I'm gonna make a tofu thing. How are you doing today, Kane? I'm just gonna turn my camera so I can start cooking. I can view the animals. <laughs> I'm just gonna check on my potatoes. Getting close, though. All right. I think I'm gonna do refried 
beans in here. I'm just gonna saute a bunch of onions. The camera's at a really weird angle. gonna saute onions, uh, be lazy and use canned beans. Because I always forget to soak them. And I always make too much if I make them from like dry beans. I was like, oh that's not too much, and then you soak it and cook it and it's like three times bigger. And then I never finish them. So I figure a can is worth it. Should work. These are. I've never had Romano beans. I don't think. I'm just gonna strain out all the alfalfa. This would be perfect for. You can make meringues out of like vegan meringue. Or just use it basically as a egg white replacement for vegan stuff. I mean. You usually use chickpeas, but you can use other beans. Um, okay. This is not hot now. So basically, just do a ton of oil, onions until they're nicely caramelized, then add the beans and mix them in. Add some spices, maybe. I made this in a long time. I used to work at a Mexican restaurant. The amount we do like one of those big pots, one of the big tall ones, just full of beans. And so many onions, so much oil. Literally, just be pouring oil into it when we're pureeing it. It's kind of gross, but it tasted amazing. <laughs> That's all that matters, right? <laughs> just grabbing my onions. I was gonna do, let me see what I have in my fridge um, for making, oh god, I hate moving this all the time. <laughs> totally overcooked your sausage soup. The potatoes were like much, oh that sucks in soup when you want like chunks of potatoes and you just overcook it. Very well behaved dogs. Um, for the most part, yeah, they're pretty good. They... One dog will bark a lot if she sees people walking by, but I have the door closed so she can't see out front right now. And the backyard, usually aren't people walking by. Um, they're pretty good. They just, they might be extra tired though because I took them to the dog park. There were a lot of dogs there yesterday. And it was good. They got to play like crazy. Got chased by other dogs and got nice and tired. What am I doing? Tofu. Tofu. One second. I wonder if I should just do one or if I should do two for this. You like your soup like that? I like. <laughs> I mean, I do too. I, I like pureed soups and like non textured soups more than 
other kinds. Like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, I don't know, chunky soups as much. But, so at work, sometimes I make, like, just tons of, you know, pureed soups, and then customers are like, oh, it's another pureed soup. Okay, sorry, I'll have to change it up a bit. I'm not the only one who. Other people like other things. Oh my god, I'm gonna try to strain these potatoes. Luckily, I don't have a gigantic mound of dishes this week like I did last week. So, I was just going through some of my old videos, um, posting them onto YouTube. And I noticed how many times I spent like over an hour just doing dishes on here. But, did, uh, ran the dishwasher yesterday and put it away this morning and loaded it again this morning so there aren't too many dishes. <laughs> I've actually had time and thought ahead a little bit today. Pretty proud of myself. Um, you're never good at training animals and a cat knows pretty easy. That's fair. Yeah, it's, it's dogs are a lot more work than they seem like they would be. I would never get a puppy again. That was so much work. And I'm not, like, I don't feel like I'm good at training animals. I don't have that kind of assertive nature. And uh, I ended up taking one dog to obedience classes. She passed. <laughs> but it was really hard. And it's helped a lot, but, um, I just, I find it hard to stay consistent with, or say no, unless I'm really upset, <laughs> then I can say no. Um, I should have minestrone, bleh, minestrone, yeah, I've had minestrone, it's not my favorite, it could be good, like, it is a good soup, I'm just not, um, not a huge fan of tomato stuff, which is kind of weird, because I always grow tomatoes every year outside, but... Yeah, tomatoey things are not my favorite. I do like it. I just have to be in a specific mood to eat food like that. I don't know. Oh my god, she's like attacking the cat. Licking his ears like a weirdo. Yeah, you. He loves it. <laughs> um, okay, what was I doing over here? I think I'm just gonna do like crumbled tofu with some spices and garlic. Let me see if I have any other veggies. got the potatoes just strained. They just need to cool off a bit. So actually I'm going to quickly wash this bowl so I can use it to cool them in the fridge. Um, if I can tilt this down more. Oh my god. There we go. That kind of works, I think. So these are the potatoes just cooling. Sort of. <laughs> Attempting to cool. Ugh, the dishes are in the sink. Do I play video games on stream? I, yeah, I, on Fridays, I've been playing games. Um, lately I've been playing, like, Jackbox, but I was looking today, I'm not very good at video games. Like, I do enjoy playing some of them. I played the old Myst game, and that was fun. I just want... I don't know, I'm not good at like fast paced games, so I was kind of looking into what other games I could play, because I kind of like to do like some sort of video game most Fridays, and then maybe once a month play a Jackbox game, because they're really fun. It's really fun to play with people, um, especially while like chatting with them kind of online. I suck at everything except sports games. 
I was looking, trying to figure out what game to play, just because the only, the only games I've really played are games that I played when I was a kid, which is, are super, super old games. Oh my god. Tilt camera. Um, any shooting game you're horrible at? Me too. I am terrible. Anything that takes, like, using two, <laughs> two buttons at once, or, like, aiming and shooting, you know, it's impossible. Can't do it. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I remember, like, I like turn based things. So, just today I was looking at what sort of games there are. And I know there's things like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, Valley, and those sort of games. But I don't know if I want to play that sort of thing. I feel like you have to invest a lot of time into it. So I'm trying to figure out something. I was thinking like the, I always liked the Final Fantasy games. So maybe, I was never that good at them, but I liked them. I really liked, there used to be this game called Legend of Dragoon. And I was trying to see if there was like a remastered version of it, but there isn't. But it's old, so like the graphics are pretty terrible, but the gameplay was always really fun. It was kind of Final Fantasy-ish. Um, so I don't know. I do want to play something. I just can't decide what. Because some of the games that people were recommending, they don't have on Steam, and it's like, I don't want to connect console to my computer. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, oh, really? Of all the gaming setup? Horror games. I think I'd be terrible at horror games. I would just not do anything. So I'd be like, okay, I'm scared. I don't want to move. I'll just sit here and not do anything. Um, spend so much money on it. You'd like to use it. Haven't found. I know. That's the thing. I you need to find something that you really enjoy, and it's hard. I think because I don't. I like very random games. Like I like the Miss game. I like. Age of Empires, it's like all things I played when I grew up, or played growing up with my brothers and stuff. I liked all like the, hey, thanks for following Hyper. Um, I liked, what the heck, like all the Nintendo games, but I don't have any sort of Nintendo system. Uh, other than like a, what's it called? PSP, is that what it's called? The little flippy one. Whatever the heck that one's called. And, oh sorry, that'll stop. Until Dawn. That sounds like a hardcore game. Oh god. It's not the one where it's like all in blackness and you have to hold up your like, uh, match or like just a flashlight to see what you're doing. Those things I can't do. That'd be horrifying. Oh, five hours on your PS5? Wow. I don't know. There's also a game I was trying to remember today, but I couldn't remember the name of it. I'll have to ask my brother, but we used to play... It was like... You have castles, and then you kind of can travel along roads and take over other people's castles. And it was really fun, but it was also like one of those things me and my brothers would play and we'd take turns playing, so you'd be playing against each other, but it was turn-based. So I don't know how things like that would work. Um, I don't know if I really want to play any games online, because people are mean. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out, what I want to do. But I do want to play more and like have it a little bit more consistent because I've just been kind of playing whatever right now and then I have to plan every week what I'm going to do which is kind of annoying I think my roommate has the Until Dawn game or I've heard, I've heard that name which I don't know I like slow <laughs> turn based or puzzle kind of things but I also, 
Yeah, I guess turn based is better. I just don't like anything too fast. Because I'm. That's why I die. So I'm not sure if the Final Fantasy games are still turn based. They used to be. Just looking into those. I think I have one on Xbox, but I guess there's no way to like transfer that over to. I don't know, can you play like Xbox games on your computer without having your console connected? If you like sign into your Xbox account, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how that works, honestly. I don't ever really use the consoles my roommates do. Oh! Detroit Become Human. I played that a tiny bit because my roommate had it and told me to try it. And I did like the first mission and I did it well. It was a really interesting game. I really liked watching my roommate play it. That, that was a cool game. I really liked that. I just didn't ever continue playing it. I forgot about that game. It was... I liked it though. Uh, cooking streams are fun. I have a hard time making mac and cheese. Ah. Well, yeah, everyone... It depends how much you do it, right? Like, never super great at it, but then I started cooking. I, like, I started having to cook for myself when I went vegan, and then I was never super good at it, but then I went into, I went to cooking school and stuff, so it helped. And then also just um, doing it all the time. You just get used to it, and having to do recipes you wouldn't normally do or whatever. So, yeah, it is fun. It's, I haven't, or I should say, my idea was, because at work I'm supposed to be transferring to a different position where I'm not cooking as much, so it's like, oh, I'll cook on stream, then I can get, do my cooking without getting sick of it, you know, you don't want to cook all day at work and then cook all day at home. But now, everything's all screwed up and I might I don't know when I'm switching to my new position, so it's kind of a little hard because this was supposed to be in lieu of doing cooking at work, but I am still doing cooking at work. Whatever. It's different. It's different at work. You're making bulk amounts. Um. Oh. Well, thank you, Kane. Oh, I will love that. Sorry. <laughs> works out. But it's also just, you know, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Or the more comfortable you get at it. Things don't always work out the greatest, but... Gotta try. Um, my potatoes are still warm, so... So I added... Oh, you probably can't even see her. Oh. The sun is, like, hitting my computer screen, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on. <laughs> you don't. Oh, just practice. So, basically what I did is I've got onions and then I added the beans. Onions are pretty soft. Um, and then I'm just going to add some water and puree it, basically. And I'm just going to grab my immersion blender. Fried beans. I know some people like to add like a lot of garlic, cumin and stuff, but I don't know. I like it more simple. Why aren't you saying like that? There.
It's okay. It's okay. It sure sounded like something. Do I use Streamlabs or just the Twitch app? I'm using uh, OBS right now to stream. But yeah, I have this stream elements thing doing this follower thing. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I've, yeah, I've been using OBS. Which is kind of good. I don't know. I'm still kind of confused about what's better to use. I'm trying to read up. I was familiar with OBS, so that's kind of why I went with that. At least a little bit. There's a lot more stuff I know I can do with this. I just, like with all the Twitch extension things, I just haven't spent that much time figuring it all out. Um, okay, so we've got beans. <laughs> Looks really gross. It'll taste good once it's salty. Uh, you want to stream your fishing adventures? Oh. You know what? I tried a stream a couple weeks ago with just my phone. And it worked pretty decently. Like, I could switch between the front and back camera. <laughs> Except, like, anytime something popped up on my phone, like, um... I was using... Data, right? And it, uh... Popped up on my phone saying that... Like, oh, you've used this much data. And it... Like, shut... It cut me out of the streaming so i had to redo it again which was really annoying so i think if you somehow manage to block all pop-ups on your phone <laughs> maybe you can make it work but it was a little bit annoying it's much easier to just have like stationary webcam but i don't know how that would work well fishing because you need pretty good internet connection too so i don't know how you do that Yeah, I, I also want to like stream when I'm gardening and stuff, but I think I'd just have to use my phone. I think it'd be weird to have my computer set up outside. So right now I'm just using a laptop, an old laptop, and a webcam, an old webcam. Which is why I can't, I don't know, I can't get it to fill the screen properly. <laughs> I think just it's super old, it's like 10, at least 10 years old. So eventually, I'm sure I'll upgrade. But I do have a good microphone, so that helps. But there's a lot of tech stuff that I just don't really know yet. I've been trying to learn, but it's like a very steep learning curve, I feel like. That's tasty. I'm just leaving that with salt. That's all it needs. No other special things. Oh, I just want like a bowl of that right now. I'm just gonna let it cool a bit while I get this tofu stuff ready. You have a GoPro. Oh, I didn't know you could stream from GoPros. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know how you would. Why is it so tilty? Um, how you would make it so you don't get kicked off. It's so hard. Like, there's so many little things to think about. So yeah, streaming when it's not just gaming is very different. But honestly, even just streaming, gaming's hard enough to figure out. I had like a really old, what's it called, like a capture card to try to stream games. Like I was trying to play my game on one on my main computer, but use OBS on this little laptop and have it feed through, like, I cannot figure out how to get it to work, and I don't know if it's just because my equipment's old, or if it's, um, me just not being able to figure it out, and that's really, it can be really frustrating. So I hope you can figure out how to do it, because that would be fun. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that like fishing. 
I've gone fishing since I was a kid. I used to go with my dad. Okay, so I just have brick of tofu. I'm just gonna crumble with my hands, I think. And let's do some onion and celery. We'll add some Mexican spices to it. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Oh yeah, my potatoes. I'm gonna throw these in the fridge. Look, er. I've never used a GoPro, I think. I'm sure there's all different kinds, though. I just tend to use my phone for everything. I do all my photos and stuff on my phone. It's just too bad, um, like, data is really expensive here. In the US, it's a lot cheaper. Buddy streams fishing from Florida. Oh, Starlink satellite internet. Okay, yeah, I think it's, it's different when you get to a place where you have, can afford to do it. I've thought about that sort of stuff too. Like, oh, I'd love to do this, but you need. <laughs> A lot of supporters to afford it and to make it worth it. Gotta just build up slowly. Gotta start somewhere. I'm like getting close to being able to do the affiliate. I'm very excited about that. I'm getting there. I think I just need like 10 more followers or something. So close. But it definitely takes a lot longer than kind of think it would. I don't know. I see people who stream and it's like, wow, they got millions or thousands of followers. And it makes it look so easy, but it's not. <laughs> Just takes, I think, time and consistency. I'm sure some people are just automatically much more interesting to watch than others. Some people have that benefit. Plus, I find beyond just work, like, because I work full time normally and I'm tired, <laughs> um, I have roommates to deal with. So I can't just stream whenever I want to. It has to be when they're not home, <laughs> which makes it harder. And then my schedule at work was super screwed up the past couple of months. Um, so it's been hard to be consistent. But I'm trying. You have two followers? Hey, that's better than nothing though. Gotta start somewhere. And yeah, just if I've learned anything, <laughs> it's just to be consistent. Like have specific days each week stream and stick to it. I was listening to a podcast about Twitch streaming and that was pretty helpful for getting a lot of the basic stuff kind of set up for me. Um, just basic, I don't know, from the actual literal setting up to just mental stuff. I guess. What things you need to focus on and care about things you don't. So, I don't know, I found that really helpful. But I tend to do that for a lot of things, just like, 
listen to stuff before I make any moves on anything. It's also hard to know if you'll really truly like it if you don't put in a lot of effort or try to make it work. Because you might find you don't enjoy it. I don't know. I've done streaming on other sites and I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Or other kinds of streaming, I should say. Um, it's like, I don't know how I feel about it. Sometimes it's okay. But when I grow to dread doing it, <laughs> it's probably not something I want to continue with. Oh, I see. Your work schedule varies. Yeah. See, that makes it really hard. Or even if you do it so it's like, you'll stream these days, but not necessarily know the time to stream. I don't know. That's what I found really hard, was not being able to just say, I'll be streaming at this time. These are really gross. These are going in the compost. Okay, I guess there's gonna be no mushrooms. I've been work I've been trying to get it so my work schedule is like static. But everything's just really weird at work right now, so I don't know. At what point that'll happen. But I'm still hoping it will. Trying. still heating up. I'm just going to put this uh, refried beans into some sort of container. No, too small. a little more. God, I can't like get this camera at a good angle. I think I just don't like the way my kitchen's laid out. <laughs> Makes it harder. Just grabbing the onions. Okay. We're 
just gonna fry onions and garlic and celery and this tofu and some spices. How long has your buddy been uh, streaming that he's able to support himself? Um, just doing his streaming. Okay. I wonder how long. It, I'm sure some people it takes a lot longer than others. But. Just always curious. That's cooking. I'm just gonna start washing a few things. I want to go out today and enjoy this weather. Okay. It's really nice knowing that I still have another day off tomorrow. I'm just going to crumble this tofu in by hand. Smell of sauteed onions and garlic. I know. It smells so good. It's making me really hungry. I haven't eaten yet today, so. It's supposed to be for supper, but I might end up eating this right after I'm done screaming. making mayo is cleaning it up after.
more spices in here. I think I figured this out last time. Chili powder. Um, where? Cumin. Oh, I did get cumin. Okay. are in the US but here um, like in nutrition labeling for spices you don't have to list all the spices unless it's an allergen um, so on things like this it just ingredients spices and herbs oh, that's, that's very helpful okay, look at <laughs> but I guess it's a way of making the ingredient list smaller to make nutrition labels at work for some of the, our products. So I have to start learning all the rules for it. It's um, interesting, actually. Spicy. <laughs> I know. Uh, like, they just have to say if there's, like, sulfites in it or garlic. Some, some sort of allergen. Um, but, yeah. That's Wow, the spice mix has spices. Who would have guessed? Smells like chili powder. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I want to add. Hello, Juju Link. <laughs> Sorry, there's a glare on my computer. Let's see. How are you doing today? You're a vegetarian and in France. Nice. Bonjour. Hello, Nanuak. I am doing very well. I am, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Making some food. Doing good. How are you? <laughs> Sorry, my French isn't very good. And I learned like Quebec French, not not France French. I know it's not the same. <laughs> I don't remember it very well. So I am just making um, like taco filling. So it's just tofu and spices and onions and garlic and celery. See if I have enough spices. And then I'm gonna finish my potato salad. That is very, very boring tasting. Salt. Some pepper. Hello, just an aimless German. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, actually, in school we take French. Um, because in Canada, we have two official languages. So, English and French. And most people know French if they know a second language here, just because Quebec, people often go to Quebec. And yeah, yeah, we learn French. I learned it all through school. Um, so, but I don't know it that well. I did take like IB French and I'm still not very good, unfortunately. I went to Quebec for like, ah, I missed that, a month. Um, but yeah, that was in high school. I don't remember that well. It's been years. You take Spanish as a second language? I guess that makes sense. You guys are close to Spain. 
Yes, I'm in Canada. I wish you took some Latin. <laughs> yeah, Latin's not the most useful language, I think. But I guess it helps for knowing where, um, like the, what's the word? Like the origins of certain words and, yeah, I think, I think most Americans learn Spanish as a second language. At least I know my mom did. But yeah, we learned French. I just wish I could say something in it. <laughs> Mm, when did I become vegan? Um, when I was 16. So, a long time ago. So I've been vegan for, oh god, 16 years. So that would have been, was that 2006? Yeah, 2006. It's been a while. <laughs> I've turned vegetarian on my 16th birthday, and then... Like maybe five or six months later, I went vegan. So, yeah. It has been a while. How long have you been vegetarian? You can translate most stuff on Roman ruins. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, you'd be a good companion to take to <laughs> trips to Italy. Sell your services as a tour guide or something. I don't know. It's a more useful skill than what I have. I can understand a couple of random things in French. And when I was in university, I took um, Mandarin, so I know a tiny bit of Chinese, but I can't really speak it. What was this from? Oh, potatoes. I still need them. Uh, sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. Your English seems, it seems good to me. I can understand. Do you find it harder to type English? Like, write it? Or to speak it? Because I know French, it was easier to speak, but harder to write for me. I don't know. Same with Chinese. <laughs> Chinese was a lot harder to speak. City conference, address, deal banana. Okay, I do understand that, right? Banana, banana. If I understand this phrase, say banana, say the word banana. So I can still understand a bit, I think. As long as that was right, I think so. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a very good accent. What was the word in Quebec? They always say... Oh man, there's something they say super weirdly. I wish I could remember. Um... Ah, it was like a really common phrase that they say very strangely and we always made fun of it because that's not like when we learn in class, we're learning, well, I think we're supposed to be learning, like, you know, basic French, and then when we went to Quebec, they, were, they say things just very, very strangely. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, your English is very good. I can understand. Like a moth banana. Nice. Very good. Moth bananas. Oh, that's, yeah. I had the same problem. My dad was not happy when I went vegetarian because he grew up eating meat and potatoes. But you know what's funny is now both my parents eat probably 80% vegan and they just have like cheese. Yeah, and my dad was vegan for a couple of years now, or before. Um, but yeah, and he was mad when, at first. For the first few years, they wanted me to wait until I moved out um, before I changed what I ate. But I told them I would just make my own food. 
and it worked. It worked out. It was hard though at first. So sometimes you have to wait. And you're pretty young too, so you can always wait. Or just do the best you can. Um, you don't have to change everything you eat. Usually eight stews with minimal meat. I think it's... He didn't want to... Well, at that time too, he just it didn't really know anyone vegan and it was a pretty new thing. And I think it was partly like, I'd be him taking it as me turning my nose up at what he would make for dinner or what we'd eat. And it seemed wasteful, even though, I mean, I have brothers who are eating, right? <laughs> it's not like no one was gonna eat the food, but I think that's how it came across to him. Like, we raised you to eat this and you should eat it, but he got over it. It's hard when things are different than the way you're raised, I think, for people. And we never ate like a ton of meat, but we ate chicken quite a bit. But it was, I think dairy was the hardest thing, at least for me to give up. And it was just hard for them to get used to. But it, yeah, it's funny now they're both, if I ever go to their house, they have, um, they drink almond milk <laughs> and they even buy like, they're both vegetarian. Um, and then they, yeah, they'll buy like the Beyond Burgers and stuff, even for when my brothers come over. My brothers aren't vegetarian, but they, they'll eat it. And when I make like holiday meals, make it completely vegan and no one minds any as long as it tastes good they don't care so I think I'm really lucky in that respect you became vegetarian your mother told you you're gonna lose your hair and your teeth really uh, it's funny like when you have lived your whole life thinking one thing it's hard to get used to something else but it's nice that it's becoming more well known now. And now we know that it's generally healthier, usually healthier to be vegetarian. <laughs> Cause like my dad got um, oh, prostate cancer and his doctor told him, oh, you should be eating more plant based foods. So that's when my dad went vegan for a couple of years and it fixed everything. <laughs> I mean, you don't know if that's the total reason, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> and he lost a lot of weight, and it's good. Now she understands. <laughs> well, that's good. Just people need to experience other ideas. And I made way too much potato salad. I don't even. Why did I make so much? I always do this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave some pieces. Um, I should probably be using a bigger bowl. But I don't feel like washing this, so it's gonna stay. It's true, yeah. Vegetables are generally much cheaper. Meat is so expensive right now. I mean, yeah, as long as you're not eating all processed foods, it's cheaper. But like vegan meats and vegan cheeses are pretty damn expensive. One year and three to four months. Oh, okay. That's a long time. I don't think I even knew anything about vegetarianism <laughs> when I was 14. That's well, good for you. I only started because I listened to a lot of punk music and the mus a lot of the musicians were vegetarian or vegan and then I started to learn about it so and I don't think I was listening to music I was listening to music when I was 14 yeah I was going to concerts but I wasn't paying attention to any sort of political stuff I guess at the time L214 no is that a band never heard of that oh my god it's getting so Oof. my arms aren't strong enough I'm 
be extra chunky because I don't feel like doing more. Um, mayo. Mayo. Mustard. Mm. That's really good. It's olives. I also have dill pickles. Mm. I like like olives and pickles in my potato salad. Uh, punk music's pretty good. It's become quite mainstream. I feel like, I don't know, I don't hear punk music anymore at all. It's all like pop music. Um, or, I don't even know. I'm going to call it rap. There's like a lot of, somewhere in between rap and pop. <laughs> pop rap? <laughs> Uh, I do have a UK subs t-shirt from concert. Nice. <laughs> Big association. Oh, really? Vegan association. I... Yeah, I've never heard of that. I... When I was getting into vegetarianism and stuff, it was, uh... PETA was really big. I don't know if they're still really big. Uh, but they were at the time. In the US, mostly. I don't think there's anything equivalent in Canada. At least not that I know of. Um, yeah, like, I guess I listen to more pop punk sort of stuff. Like, I love, like, Sum 41, Billy Talent, Rise Against, those sort of... I like political music a lot. Anti-plague. Especially around the time of, like, George W. Bush. <laughs> Everyone was against him. So there's a lot of good music about that, about politics at that time. Alright, so I've got some green olives and some dill pickles. I'm just going to cut really small. Uh, they have a web vegan pratique. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm surprised I've never heard of that. I guess so. I guess I don't pay much attention or hear much about I feel like in Canada we don't hear much about anything in Europe, unless it's something huge. We're cooking vegan? Cool. I, there used to be a really good, what was wrong with this? Um, recipe site that I would use before. VegWeb or something like that, I think. Unless, yeah, I think it was called Vegwet and they had recipes. I don't know if it's still around. And they had awesome recipes. I made so many things off of there. Can I speak in French? <laughs> Not well. Um, I would have to for five minutes. Oh, I don't think I could. I don't remember enough French. Like. Oh god, it'd be so hard. I, I'm trying to even think of like one sentence. Um, I don't remember my verbs very well. Conjugations. <laughs> um, mon français est terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I could do very much. If you asked me um, when I was in grade 12, then I could. Spoken French like all day. But it's been too long. I never, never use French anymore. And in um, junior high school, like grade seven and eight, we did learn a bit of Spanish while we were also learning French. And it was so confusing because some of the verbs are very similar, and I'd always like get confused by which thing was for which language. And I think there's a couple of verbs that are like the same, but they conjugate a little bit differently. I don't really remember, and that made it very difficult. I don't miss that. Yeah, I'm just. 
was doing um, olives. And then I think I have some chives in my garden. I'm gonna grab and dinosaur if you'll do it. Oh, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> um uh, sorry, I don't actually understand. Your mother is a dinosaur who 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 somethings. <laughs> Uh, is it a vegan just food? It's usually everything. Um, I try to avoid leather stuff. Sometimes I find I can't really, like, avoid it. Like, for winter boots, I haven't been able to find anything that's vegan that's actually, like, can withstand, you know, like, minus 50 weather here. So, why am I cutting in this direction? That's stupid. Um... <laughs> So, some things I've kind of made sacrifices on, but yeah, for the most part, it's everything. Yeah, leather, silk, even um, a lot of vegans like won't go to places like SeaWorld or like places that use animals for entertainment, stuff like that. I usually try to avoid things like that in general. Anti-constitutional. <laughs> um, so yeah, it can, it depends. Like some vegans are more strict than others. I used to be a lot more strict, I think, than I am now. Um, I just feel like, I mean, I do the best that I can, but I don't think it's worth freaking out over little things sometimes. Life's too short. Do they make fake leather? Actually, yeah. They, there's a lot of really cool um, vegan leather stuff now. They've made like leather from grape skins and my friend bought me this purse that's vegan leather and it feels like leather. It's really cool. Like, the technology has come really far. Um, it's pretty expensive, though. I mean, leather already is, but... Yeah. Like, I think there are, like, some cool... Like, fully vegan... I found, like, a vegan... Like, I really like pea coats. You know those, like, coat... I don't know. Coats that are, like, this long and kind of have the folded shoulder. Anyway, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, they're usually made out of wool, but there are vegan ones, and I really wanted to buy one, but it was like $700 or something stupid like that. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm not, if I was rich, I could be 100%. Yeah, like a, yeah, like a wool trench coat, but like short. Usually, usually they're only like down to there. Um, they're like plastic. Like the vegan substitutions are plastic. Um, some things might be, but like the high quality stuff is usually made from like some sort of eco-friendly thing. Um, there are, like I've had vegan leather stuff that was like cheaper stuff and yeah it's like plasticky synthetic stuff that just does not last the same it doesn't last very long and it's probably terrible for the environment probably worse than leather uh raincoat material the coats you mean the coats are usually wool or are you asking if the vegan leather stuff is spring coat? But no, like, are you thinking of like raincoat trench coats? Pea coat is more, I don't know, it's usually only women wear it. And they're just, oh, vegan leather. Um, 
kind of, I guess. Like, I've had the Beacon Leather shoes. It's usually just, like, yeah, plasticky. Um, it looks kind of like leather, but it's not nearly as soft. It's definitely harder. And it just, yeah, it does not last. It cracks more easily. Okay, I'm almost done with these pickles. And then I'm going to grab some chives from my garden. The one thing that's growing. Try not to let the dogs run outside when I do that. What time is it? 1st question, how people tell me when you're vegetarian. Do you have 40? Like, are you 40 years old? Is that what they're asking? <laughs> you're still so confused about the vegan leather? Um, they're all, there's many different kinds. Like, there's cheap kinds that are, they're only vegan because they're trying, not because they're trying to sell themselves as vegan, they're just cheaper brands trying to look like leather. And those are usually the crappy, plasticky ones. And then there's high quality vegan leather that's like, yeah, made out of grape skins and there's nothing else. There's another one that sounded cool. I don't know, something else. Some other plant. Uh, <laughs> what does... Do you have 40? Do you mean... Like, are you 40 years old? Do you have 40 years? Or something else? And hey, Nancy Chancy, <laughs> How are you doing? I am making a vegan potato salad right now. Almost done. I'm just gonna grab some chives from my garden. You buy a t-shirt and shorts. That's fair. It's a lot easier for you guys. And I'm not really, don't know that much about fashion, honestly. It's just like, winter boots, I need good boots because of where I live. And it's hard to find vegan winter boots that are good quality. But some brands are starting to make more. Come on. Do you want an olive? Just sit. Um, potato, vegan potato salad. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would skip the hot sauce. I'm not a spicy person. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's okay. I'm, okay, guys, I'm just running outside to grab chives. I'll be right back. In the meantime, you can watch the dogs. <laughs> Since I have nothing else to do.
gives you all the cold weather. Yeah, yeah, I guess you guys still have cold weather in Michigan, huh? We have terrible weather. This year was pretty bad. Usually it's only like minus 40 for like, I don't know, a week all winter, but this year it was like two months. It was brutal. Are my dogs vegan? No, no, they aren't. They eat meat. They like vegetables, but they love meat. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. You want to grow your own herbs and produce? Yes, I know. Meat, like, it's really nice to have fresh stuff. Luckily, chives are like one of the few things that will grow here year after year, like perennials. But I'm getting, I'm going to be growing basil and other things too. I love fresh herbs. And I've, I tried growing them in an apartment before and it just didn't work. It makes such a big difference to have a real garden. I just wish, the winters here are so bad that like nothing can really survive. Which just kind of sucks. But, whatever. Um, you have a hard time growing grass. I do too. <laughs> oh, it's because the dogs, they destroy it. They, uh, well, other than like peeing on it and wrecking it, they'll also, just when they run, they'll run in circles and it rips up the grass. I've tried reseeding my backyard like, I don't know, five times so far and it's, it just never works. Oh, that is a piece of grass. Mm. That's gonna taste lovely. Okay, I'll try not to eat that. Um, you did get to open your pool. 62. Oh, that's still pretty cool. Cause I think 72 is like 20. So, no point in turning the heater on when it's 40 at night. <laughs> yeah. But you have a pool though. That's nice. That makes the summers. A little bit more bearable. Oh, I don't know. Here is very, very rare for anyone to have a pool. It's just our summer is so short that it's not really worth it, I guess. People go to the lake instead. You have bug phobia. Oh, yeah. That's, that makes it hard to not feel bugs. I. I think I'm pretty decent with bugs. I just really don't like worms. Like like the little fat worms. Ugh. Those gross me out. And I have to like scoop them out, <laughs> give them to the birds. Maple syrup? <laughs> I do. I love maple syrup. It's just really incredibly expensive. Um, but it makes everything better. <laughs> Stuff never grows, always end up overwatering it. Ah, yeah. I always do the opposite. I always like, oh, it's okay. It'll it'll be okay if I don't water and then it dries up. But or actually more than anything, it gets attacked by bugs and then I uh don't ah, what am I doing? Then I it kinda gets wasted. Like I tried to grow broccoli and it got covered in worms, oh, and all the flea beetles were eating it. It was, it was pretty gross. I'm, yeah, I'm not that good of a gardener, but I can grow tomatoes and potatoes and herbs. That's about it. I'll stick with what I can do. Um, didn't want to buy the heater because it's so expensive to operate. Yes, I could see that. On a really hot day, it would feel good. Uh, agave. Yeah, I like agave too. I, I do buy that sometimes. Um, I like having it in my tea, like I make matcha, and I like having agave in there. Uh, maple syrup probably is cheaper, but it's still expensive. Like, oh, I don't even know the prices, but 
I'm sh it's probably more expensive in the U.S. But it, it's not cheap here. <laughs> but I think it's easier to find here, as far as I know. Someone was saying, I think on my last stream, or one of my previous streams, they were saying that they can't find it where they live. Um, isn't the logo up there, Maple Leaf? Yes. Yes, we do have lots of maple trees, but not all maple trees produce maple syrup. So, and most of the, like, most of the maple syrup, as far as I know, is grown in, like, Quebec. Not, I mean, there's, I think, some here, but it's not as much here as it is to the east. What is the money? Uh, just dollars. <laughs> Canadian dollars. So, it's... We're usually like, I think our dollar is pretty much based on the US dollar and then we have bills. We have really colorful money that Americans always make fun of because it's very bright. <laughs> but it's easy because you can know that like the blue bill is a five dollar, god purple is ten, green is twenty, red is fifty yellow is 100 so you can like see how much money you have without looking through it <laughs> uh, but yes we do have a maple leaf on our flag and it's just maple trees are really beautiful too they turn really red in the fall um, but yeah we just don't have many of them out here or there's lots of different kinds of maples. We don't have sugar maples out here, which produce the maple syrup. I need salt. Um, how much money? Oh wait, what did I miss? Uh, they have a Canadian Dunkin' Donuts. Really? Canadian Dunkin' Donuts? What's different about it? Uh, how much money for tofu? That's a good question. I think it's like, for one brick, around four dollars, I think. Yeah, three fifty or four, somewhere around there, I think. Oh, I see Tim Hortons. <laughs> what brand of vegan mayo? I honestly, I just make it. I don't like any of the store bought ones. I don't mind the Vegan A's brand or. Or I think it's called Earth Island now. Um, at least I used to buy that a long time ago, but now I just make it because it's cheaper and it tastes better to me. <laughs> and it still lasts a long time. So I find that easier to just make. I don't really like the Hellman's one. I mean, it's okay, but it's not great to me. I see. So Tim Hortons is Canadian Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if I've ever been to a Dunkin' Donuts. I don't drink coffee, so I don't go to Tim Hortons either. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add salt and pepper. I should probably taste this before I go any further. What do I use for B12? Um, actually, the soy milk here has B12 added to it. Um, so I don't really, I don't supplement with anything because I drink a lot of soy milk. I'm like obsessed with soy milk. So <laughs> yeah, our, I don't know of all non-dairy milks, but I know for sure the soy milk that I drink has B12. Um, so yeah, I don't supplement. I do also have nutritional yeast, which has B12 in it. Solgar. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of Solgar. Okay, let's, let's try this. Oh, let's roll off. Mm, a little bit more salt, I think. Maybe a little bit more Dijon. I love Dijon. Okay. 
I made way too much. I don't know why. It's like I can't help myself. American mark of split. I don't know what that means. Where's my phone? I just realized my music stopped probably a while ago. Let me look up what Solgar. Oh, it's a vitamin. I see. Vitamin brand. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I... I don't know. I feel like I've gone to the doctor to see if I was low in anything like iron or B12 or whatever um, after being vegan for a long time and I've never had anything below, so I think as long as you're eating a varied diet, it's usually fine. Or, I mean, some people just eat certain vitamins they don't absorb well, I guess. Everyone's different. And I think you have to be a little bit more careful when you're younger. Okay, I think this is good. I have 10 metric tons of potato salad. Why did I put this spoon in there? I still need this. Okay. Okay. L214. L214. Okay. Yeah. It shows up in French. French Animal Rights Organization. I can't believe I've never heard of that. Considering I follow like some animal rights stuff on my Instagram and see a lot of stuff like Europe does a lot more, I feel like, with animal rights than Canada does. So there's like there's that all vegan, is it Burger King or McDonald's or one of those places? Now I need to find a spot to put this in. I need a container, which is always right behind my camera. Um, have a bunch of people over for a barbecue. <laughs> Ten metric tons is a lot. <laughs> it's true. I, I was gonna say I wish I had friends. I do. They just are probably quick. My friends like a lot of advance notice before doing anything, so it's very hard to have to actually plan things. Things don't happen last minute with my friends. Um, I don't know if Canada has a vegan association. Not that I know of. There's like Humane Society and there's PETA, but I don't think anything, I don't know, as far as I know, there isn't any specific organization. You can be my Michigan friend. Yes. Sounds good. If I'm ever in the area. I do go to Toronto once in a while. My friend lives in Ottawa, my best friend, and so we visited Toronto together. And I have quite a bit of family in the US, but they're mostly in Rochester, New York. Denver area. But I don't think I've ever been there. Those that family's the crazy part. They're the overly religious have 15 children type family. I don't know. I don't know how many kids, but they just keep having children. And I one of my aunts is in Maine. Visited her before. Denver, nice place to go skiing. Okay, that makes sense. Never been there. Er, we went maybe somewhere outside of Denver for family reunion once. It was, I don't know, I feel like it was somewhere near the Grand Canyon, but not close enough to the Grand Canyon to see it. So I don't know if that's near Denver anywhere. <laughs> there is some sort of national park that had lots of 
mountain-y things. Not mountains. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> the opposite of a mountain. We collected nine million Canadian dollars. Holy! That's a lot of money. I hope they're putting it to good use. Yeah, I can't believe I've never heard of it done. Maybe I've seen it, but just not known what it was and just kind of ignored it. I don't know. Ding, ding, ding. To be fair, sometimes I have to, like, tune out animal rights news because it can be really depressing sometimes. Okay. Potato salad for the day. You're gonna go cook? Okay, see you later. Have a great day. Make some good food. And yes, I do have an Instagram. It's emily.uncovered. So it's the same name, just with a dot in between the words, or a period in between the words. Since the other one was taken. <laughs> Unfortunately. I still have to put away my tofu stuff. Alright, thank you, break. <laughs> I forgot that. Or is it socials? Is it something like that? I don't know. It's probably exclamation mark social. I think. I don't know this stuff. I also kind of rearranged my link tree thing, so I have two different link trees, but they link to each other. You don't remember your link tree. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it works. <laughs> Got it. I guess we could set up the same like links to do the same thing. I saw some people have, yeah, you can do like all the separate links too. Just pain. I guess I could um, link my Instagram directly on my Twitch. I think there's a way to do that. I was looking at all my settings yesterday or the other day. And I was like, oh, I haven't like filled out a lot of this information yet. smell the tofu. They act like they've never eaten before. Okay, Leia, no. Oh, I just dropped one in the sink. It's the laziest way to put away food. Okay. We've got tofu. Refried beans. 
my soapy water, it's underneath <laughs> so many dishes. Get over here. Okay. Um, yeah, I actually got everything done today. I'm surprised. thinking it would be really cool to uh, like in the summer I have an apple tree like a crab apple tree in my backyard and I always make apple jelly every year usually my parents eat like 95% of it but I thought it'd be really cool if I could like sell the jars of apple jelly because I've given them away as presents and people said they would buy them but I was looking into the laws here about selling canned goods or any kind of food. And they're so strict. Like, you have to have... It cannot be made in a house. It has to be made in a licensed facility. You have to have, like, permit all the permits that you would need to, like, run an actual restaurant. Um, or you can rent a space in, like, a facility, but you also need other <laughs> permits and it's such a pain so it's like oh maybe I could do it at my use my workspace to do the candy but I don't know if we're still gonna have a restaurant in a few months so I don't know what's happening but I thought it would be fun I was like oh maybe on Etsy I could uh oh thanks yeah that I made apple butter and apple jelly they're both amazing so I was looking on Etsy because I see people sell like baked goods on there and basically yeah you have to follow the rules of your area and of course where I live has some of the strictest food rules in the entire country so it's a little bit frustrating and you could probably do it and get away with it for a while but you can't like you can't do it I almost said legitly legitimately. It is delicious. I'm definitely going to stream when I do canning and stuff. Because honestly, canning can be very boring. So it'd be fun if I'm a lot more fun if I'm streaming. I'd also like to uh, pick strawberries this year. I did last year. And do some more. Yeah. Also, do canning strawberries. Ooh, strawberry rhubarb pie. Apple rhubarb pie. That's not canning, but I have rhubarb growing in the yard. Even uh, rhubarb jelly is really good because it's nice and like acidic. It's more like a reminiscent of a marmalade. You can do it with spiced, like cinnamon and stuff like that. It's really good. Some of that stuff this year. Uh, again, since summer is so short. Love anything with sugar in it. Well, that's good. Because <laughs> it needs the sugar to preserve. I think you can make low, su low sugar jams, but you have to use weird substitutions and stuff. I also want to do like actual pickles. I did them last year, I think the year before, I made a ton. I, I don't know what year it was, but farmer's market in my area, because of COVID, it hasn't happened in the last two years. So I'm hoping this year it will, and I can get some. 
some, you know, some fresh local pickling cucumbers and stuff. Make lots of pickles and you can do dill pickles and also like the, what do you call them? Um, like bread and butter pickles. <laughs> Sugar's are definitely a go-to, yes. Dozen homemade warm chocolate chip cookies and glass of ice cream. Oh, yeah. I know. I would love to. It's too bad, like, food is so hard to sell. Not, like, hard to sell it, but, like, logistically hard to ship and sell things. Like, even just with my work, we haven't done... We have some stuff in grocery stores, but it's all dry stuff because the logistics of shipping things frozen or refrigerated is so much more difficult. It's really frustrating. But yes, I was listening to a podcast about a woman who started her business by, I guess, she dated this guy and on one of the dates she kind of um, no-showed or something and she felt so bad about it that she baked him chocolate chip cookies and sent them to his house to apologize and then her whole business is built on that like big fresh baked cookies sent to someone with a message or whatever I forget what it's called I think it's in the US and it's like a huge franchise now all based on that one little thing. I was like, that's super cool, but it's not, the rules are very different in the US than they are here. Our rule, food rules are a lot more strict, which I understand why, but it's really frustrating at the same time. But I was looking and there is a place here where you can rent, it's like a commercial kitchen. It can also be used as like a, what do you call it? Like a kitchen for doing demonstrations because it has like a normal basic kitchen and then, or sorry, I should say like normal commercial kitchen. And then a, a display kitchen that looks more like a home kitchen, but it's with um, like commercial equipment rent that place for like, it's not even that much, it's like 25 bucks an hour. Which I was like, oh, that could be cool. But apparently you have to pay an extra fee if you're filming in there or something like that. That's kind of complicated. And then you have to bring all your good stuff there. Uh, they have all the equipment, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just been kind of mulling it over. One of those things where it's like, right now it's not worth it. But if there are a lot of people who are interested in buying stuff, it could be worth it. I've always wanted to have like a little Shopify or Etsy store. And I like packaging physical products and sending them. Like it's more fun than digital stuff to me. So I don't know. We'll see how this all goes. Potential plan I've been mulling over. I mean, legally, you could probably get away with uh, homemade stuff just be a gift that someone gives a donation for or something, as opposed to a natural purchase. Because you can gift things to people. So I don't know. It just would be more gray area, I guess. I 
dishes last night. It was very nice to wake up to this morning. I was expecting to have a lot more to do. So, a nice surprise. No complaining about them today. are starting to come out. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Still really nice out. The leaves are just starting to come out. Like, actually starting to unfurl. So it's looking more like summer. And feeling like it. some plants, like some herbs and stuff, and I think they're supposed to arrive at the beginning of June, so then I'll keep doing some planting. I'm looking forward to that. Just have a smoothie and then have an early supper. Decisions, decisions. Okay, let's do this knife. Flash myself.
I'm gonna make food, I guess. <laughs> After I just made food. I'm gonna make myself a lunch and go rest and maybe sit outside. So thank you for hanging out and chatting. And I'll do some sort of gaming stream on Friday. I just don't know what yet. I'll figure it. Figure. Figure it out. <laughs> and yeah. And I'll be streaming, cooking again. Should be next Monday since holiday's over. So I should be able to have the kitchen to myself on Monday. So have a great week. And everybody who's having lovely weather, enjoy it as much as you can. Bye, guys.